In this Learning Byte for Windows Small Business Server 2011 Essentials, we'll take a look at restoring files on client PCs. There are three main ways where we can get files back on our client PC, the easiest of which is to use the Previous Versions tab on the client PC itself. So this is the most straightforward way and doesn't require any administrative uh, assistance. And this works not only for files that are saved on the server itself, but also is available for files that are stored on the local PC. So as an example, here we can see the previous versions for our sales document folder, and we can go ahead and choose to restore files out of that folder. Now the next thing that we can do is actually restore files that are backed up to the SBS server itself. And to do this, we need to go to the computer for the files we wish to recover and launch the dashboard. Now this does require an administrative login, so end users will need the help of an administrator to do this. Once the dashboard is started, we can come to the Computers and Backups tab, and then select the computer that we are restoring files for. So here we have the choice to restore files or folders for this computer. The wizard shows us a list of the available backups that we can select from and we can easily choose from any of the available dates. Once the volume for that backup date has been opened, we can browse through the contents and select individual files or folders that we want to recover. When we select a file to recover, we are able to choose a restore location so that you can overwrite the file in its existing location or create a new destination. If you choose to use the same folder, then you'll be prompted to either copy and replace, cancel the copy, or to make a copy but keep both files by renaming the file you are copying. In this case, let's go ahead and simply copy and replace the file. So that's all it takes to restore individual files and folders. And last, I want to show you how you can recover the entire PC from perhaps a hard drive failure or you're trying to eradicate a virus or recover from other uh, malware type situations. And in order to do this, we simply need to insert the recovery CD into the computer and reboot. Once the computer has booted off the recovery CD, you simply need to select whether you have a 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. In my case, it's going to be 32-bit. We'll then select our region and keyboard settings. We also have the option at this point to load any necessary drivers to see all of the hard drives. And then the full system restore wizard begins. We need to log on to the SBS server using an administrative account. And then select the computer that we want to restore. In this case, we're going to go ahead and restore back the same PC data. Again, we can choose from among the available backup dates or just simply select the latest available backup. Next, we can decide if we want to let the wizard fully restore the computer or if you want to select individual volumes to be restored. Then simply confirm the selections and the restore process begins. Depending on the size of the hard drive and the computer's hardware, this will take a few minutes. And that's all it takes to restore individual files and folders for a client PC, as well as to do a full bare metal restore in the case of a system failure. Thank you for watching this Learning Byte video, and I hope you'll join us for future videos.